There are many success stories that reflect transformative potential of cell therapies, especially in heme malignancies, where we have seen eight approvals in a span of six years, primarily for CD19 and BCMA targeted CART therapies. With nearly 1.3 million patients annually and more than 150 subtypes, solid tumors represent tenfold greater opportunity. There is significant interest in the development of therapies in solid tumors by established players, startups, and academia. Let us now examine the clinical landscape of cell therapies in terms of solid versus heme malignancies. The graphs show that cell therapies are increasingly being used to treat solid and heme cancers. As of 2022, there are 1,795 ongoing cell therapy trials with solid tumors accounting for roughly 40% of those. Cell therapy trials have multiplied by 2.5 times in the last four years. The number of active trials for solid tumors has increased from 326 in 2018 to 777 in 2022, a nearly 150% increase since 2018, indicating that the field is rapidly gaining momentum. Now let's see what are the engineering strategies to overcome the current roadblocks in cell therapies in solid tumors. Several strategies have been applied to engineer the cell therapies to overcome the challenges in safety and efficacy. For example, use of suicide switches, conditionally activated, logic-gated cell therapies, and small molecule regulatable cars to improve the safety profile. The issue of cell exhaustion can be tackled through expression of transcription factors, CJUN, or armoring the cards with anti-PD-1 or genetic deletion of PD-1. Many companies are engineering the cell therapies with constitutive expression of stimulatory cytokines such as IL-2, IL-12, IL-15 and IL-7 or synthetic receptors to enhance cell proliferation. So let's see what are the key considerations for investment decisions in cell therapies. 